VC has its side AB is equal to 40 mm along positive X axis and side BC is equal to 30 mm along positive Y axis. Their forces of 40 Newton, 50 Newton and 30 Newton act along the sides AB, BC and CA respectively. Determine the magnitude of the resultant of such a system of forces. Okay. So first of all, calculate the angle of this theta. We need to calculate first t theta. So tan theta is equal to, we know that tan theta is equal to it is opposite side divided by adjacent side. So opposite side, this is BC. So opposite side BC, that is 30 mm. 30 mm divided by, divided by, divided by adjacent side that is AB. AB it is 40 mm. 40 mm. Okay. So theta is equal to, theta is equal to it is, theta is equal to tan inverse, tan inverse, tan inverse, 30 by 40 it is how much? 30 by 40, it is 0 0.75, 0 0.75, okay, 0 0.75, okay, so 10 inverse, 10 inverse, 0.75, it will be 36.869, 36.869, okay, that is 10 inverse. Now, first of all, resolve this 30 Newton load, okay. So this is inclined load, 30 Newton load, it is inclined load. So first of all, we need to resolve this is force in two direction, okay. We need to resolve this force in two direction. One, it is X direction and second one, it is in Y direction, okay. So this angle, it is 36.86. So this, it is also 36.86, okay. So this angle, it is, can I down this one? It is 36.869, okay. So it is resolved in two, force, two direction. One, it is 30 cos, 30 cos, 36.869, okay with respect of x, x, x axis and y axis, it will be 30 sine 36.869, okay. So angle is with respect to x axis, that's why 30 cos 36.86 in x direction and y direction it is, sorry, 30 cos 36.869 and y direction it is 30 sine 36.869, okay. So now sum of, sum of all sum of all horizontal forces horizontal forces sum of all the horizontal forces okay so for that we need to assumption if the force it is going right side it will be take positive the direction of force it is in right side then it will be take positive if the direction of force it is in left side so it will be take negative the direction of force it is in left side it will be take negative negative okay sum of all the horizontal forces first it is that's 40 newton so summation of summation of fx is equal to i do summation of fx is equal to algebra sum of all the horizontal forces so first that at b it is 40 newton it is going which side it is going right side so that's why you take it is plus 40 and second one, it is minus 30 cos 36.86. So it is going left side. So it will be take minus 30 cos cos 36.869. Okay. So summation fx is equal to it will be get summation of fx is equal to algebraic sum of all the horizontal forces. Summation of fx is equal to so you can write 40 minus 30 cos 36.869 so it will be 16 newton okay 16 newton 16 newton okay then second one it is sum of all vertical forces sum of all vertical forces vertical forces sum of all the vertical forces that is summation f y is equal to that is that is summation f y is equal to 
algebraic sum of all the vertical forces that is in y direction forces summation of y is equal to so first of all we need assumption here also when force it is going upward direction it will be take positive so force direction it is in upward direction will take it is positive value if the force direction it is in downward direction then it will be take negative value the direction of force it is in downward direction then it will be take negative okay so summation fy so first it is at c it is 15 newton it is going upward direction so it will be 50 plus then 30 sin 36.86 it is going downward direction this force okay so minus 30 sin 36.869 okay so summation f y is equal to it will be get from this relation so summation f y is equal to write down summation of f y is equal to summation of f y is equal to so 50 minus 30 sine 36.869 so it will be 32 newton 32 newton okay so this one it is in y direction so now calculate magnitude of resultant so magnitude of resultant magnet magnitude of resultant magnitude of resultant okay so r is equal to r is equal to r is equal to root of root of root of root of summation of fx square summation of fx square summation of fx square plus plus root of plus sorry plus summation of fy square plus summation of fy square okay this is result on course so is equal to put all these values is equal to root of root of root of summation fx it is how much it is 16 16 square 16 square plus plus 32 square plus 32 square plus 32 square so resultant of magnitude r is equal to r is equal to 16 square plus 32 square root of answer it will be 35.77 newton 35.77 newton okay so this is resultant of magnitude of resultant okay magnitude of result okay so the look what is location of resultant so both are the value it is positive okay just i will show the location of magnitude so this one it is x axis and this one it is y axis okay so summation fx it is also positive and summation fy it is also positive okay so x summation fx positive summation fy positive means this it is located it is in first quadrant okay so this one positive and this one positive okay so now calculate direction of the force direction direction of resultant okay so actually in question not asked but we will just calculate this one also okay direction of resultant resultant okay so we know that tan theta is equal to tan theta is equal to summation of summation of summation of f y summation of f y divided by summation of f a divided by divided by summation of f x divided by summation of f x summation of f x 
So summation f y it will be how much? Summation f y it is thirty two, thirty two, and summation f x is sixteen. Divided by sixteen. Divided by sixteen. Sixteen. Okay. So theta is equal to now. So if ten in was thirty two divided by sixteen. The angle it is sixty three point four three. Sixty three point four three. Okay. So this one it is direction. Okay. This one it is direction. Direction sixty two sixty three point four six. Okay. Just show the location. It is in first quadrant. Why it is in first quadrant? Because Summation f x and summation f y it will be this. Both are positive value. Okay, so angle it is sixty three point four three, sixty three point four three, and resultant it is r is equal to thirty five point seven seven, thirty five point seven seven, yeah, thirty five point seven seven newton, newton. So this is result magnitude of resultant and direction of resultant force. 